So this is a beginning of a project I'm working on. Um, it's a docking station for my stroller and um, child seat carrier. Um, I noticed that when you're at home, the strollers are extremely bulky and they don't store away well because um, there's nothing really that's designed to hold them. Uh, same with the car seats. They're, they're really nice when they're being used, but when you get home, to me they're an eyesore as well as very cumbersome. So I thought about it and I thought, you know what, we need a docking station for these things. And as far as I can tell out there, there's nothing being sold in the stores when I go to Bye Bye Baby. Uh, when I'm looking online, there's almost never anything that talks about that. They talk about how easy it is to collapse and put in your truck. That's about it. So, I went ahead and went to Home Depot, and my dad and I just came up with some simple designs. So I'll show you. Uh, we're not nearly done yet. There's going to be more. But this is, uh, I'll tip it over a little bit so you can see. This is uh, 18 inches thick. It comes... The uh, half inch lumber uh, comes in different widths and so this one was 18 inches, which was the right depth. And in the back here, we have pegboard. So for both sections you see here, we just did nothing but those lengths of 18 inch depth wood and I had the cut stuff at Home Depot. So um, these two sides pieces of wood are 35 inches in height. These two are just about 20, and the width of both of these is identical. They're 26 inches wide. So for our use, it could differ for you all, but uh, for our use, this is what the right uh, length is gonna be. And I decided to make them separate from each other because in the end, um, they may not be in this configuration, and these may be left, right, instead of right, left, like this. Um, I might shift it over further towards the wall that you can't really see in the shot. But yeah, so as the project continues, I'll show you. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it this color. But this is so far about $120 worth of wood and glue and backing. It's pretty cheap, really. Um, I'll, I'll give an itemized list of how much we spent. Uh, I haven't really mounted this shelf yet. It's just sitting on a box for uh, just a visual test of how it's going to be. So I got a bunch of these wood dowels. Um, total of four, really. Uh, two of them, these, I'm using for... Uh, holding up the shelf on this small unit. And this is for putting a border on top of the 26 inch short shelf to keep anything from sliding off the top. And uh, we did the same thing on the docking station for the stroller. Put a little lip on the bottom so the stroller won't slip out. You can see my little drill sander there. I used it to uh, take the square end and smooth it down. Granted, I know it's not perfect carpentry work. I'm just trying to get the corners off. I'm putting the uh, these wood dowels in to hold up the shelf. Nothing too fancy. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down like I did the other one on time.
This is the final product. I've got my car seat stored on the short shelf. The bassinet on the top. And really the whole reason for building this was getting the stroller compartment ready. There's lips at the front of each. A smaller one in the case of the stroller to keep it from sliding out. And there's room for a hand to reach in and tip it out. In the case of the bugaboo, this is how you would carry it anyway from the outside. And when you come in, 